Hey everyone, Super Happy Jim here. I got a pretty quick video for you. If you're like me and you were excited for the Fallout Next Gen update, hoping that you could now play on your Steam Deck OLED at 90 frames per second or something like that, uh, well, you probably noticed that not only did almost nothing change, but they removed the launcher from Fallout 4, which, I don't know, it was nice to be able to change <laughs> your settings. And then they also broke the workaround that everyone was using previously to fix the frame rate. Fallout 4 has this issue on specifically Steam Deck OLED where it runs the game at half the frame rate of whatever you set it to manually. And it'll say that it's running at the correct frame rate, but it very clearly feels different and the frame time graph is all over the place. So thankfully there's a fix. I will be posting where I found this fix in the description. It's by a Sergeant Noodle on Reddit. Thank you, Sergeant Noodle. I'll be covering a couple things that they did not touch on, as well as just showing you the video guide. So, first thing we're going to do is jump into desktop mode. We're going to open up Discover, our file browser here, and go to Home, and then Deck, and we're going to create a new text file. Inside that text file, we're going to write DXGI period sync interval with a capital I equals one. Save it and close out of that. And we're going to rename that file fallout4.conf. And make sure you're renaming the part that says .txt as well. Then we're going to open up Steam, go to the preferences of Fallout 4, and we're going to write capital dxvk underscore config underscore file equals and then the just the directory of our new file which is slash home slash deck slash fallout 4 dot conf space and then this is not in his guide we're also going to add another one capital s steam capital d deck equals zero this is going to bring back the launcher space Percent, command, percent. That just lets it know, lets Steam know that this is a, a command, I guess. But anyway, we're going to go back into game mode, launch Fallout 4, and there you go. You got the launcher and everything. In the starting menu, don't let your heart skip a beat. It looks like the frame rate is still jacked up, but that's just how it is. When you get into the game, everything's running smooth. I would highly, highly suggest capping the game at 60 frames per second or lower if you want to boost uh, if you want to boost the graphics like crazy. But if you try and run the game above 60 frames per second, you will definitely get some weird bugs and artifacts and everything, just like it was pre-update. Thank you, Bethesda. Also, hey, me and my buddy Dom just started a podcast on this channel, and turns out most of what we've been talking about so far is Fallout. So if you want to hear our thoughts on the show, we both really loved it. We kind of just gush all over it. Go check it out. Thanks. See ya.